Hello everyone, welcome back to Neeta's Indulgences. Today's dish is our favorite, especially when we are off non-veg. It's time to spice things up in my kitchen with this delicious dish. Get ready for a flavorful experience and a step-by-step -step process of this recipe. So, what are we waiting for? Let's crack on with it. This egg biryani is aromatic, flavorful and has a lip-smacking gravy and this is a hit in our family. Let's start with the egg biryani. Let's soak the rice for half an hour. Now this helps to remove the excess starch and ensures that each grain cooks evenly. Let's fry uh, the boiled egg with some masalas. Make sure not to burn the masala. I've added some chilli powder. Now a pinch of turmeric, coriander powder. Let's make some gashes in the egg and drop it off. Let's swirl the pan and coat the masalas nicely. Let's transfer them into this bowl. Now while the rice is soaking, let's start with the egg biryani masala. The pan is hot now. Uh, I'm going to add a tablespoon of ghee and some coconut oil. One bay leaf, couple of cardamoms, cinnamon sticks, black cardamom and some peppercorns. Add a couple of cloves as well. Let it splutter. I'm adding four sliced onions. Let's saute these onions really well. You can add a little bit of a pinch of salt. Uh, it will take roughly about 10 to 15 minutes to saute these onions. So for two cups of rice I have taken four sliced onions because we want uh, a large amount of gravy for our biryani. The onions have caramelized. It's time to add another layer of flavor. One teaspoon of garlic paste and one teaspoon of ginger paste. Let's saute the ginger garlic paste really well. This ginger garlic paste adds a depth to this egg biryani. I love the freshly ground ginger garlic paste. Time to add green chilies, three slit green chilies. Let's add spices now, starting with chilli powder, roughly about 2 teaspoons of chilli powder, 2 teaspoons of coriander powder, a pinch of turmeric for the colour, half a teaspoon pepper powder, half a teaspoon of fennel powder and our star ingredient is freshly ground garam masala. 1 teaspoon of garam masala. Make sure to keep the flame on low and give it a stir. Let's add some water to the masala. We don't want to burn the masala, so add some salt. The raw smell of the masala has to go. The masalas are nicely cooked. Let's add the tomato puree. These are two tomatoes. It's all coming together now. Lovely gravy. Let's add one third cup of curd to this mixture. Make sure to continuously stir the gravy, otherwise, your curd will split. So, the oil has started separating now. Come closer and take a look. At this juncture, we are going to add the coriander leaves and the mint leaves. Add the coriander leaves, mint leaves, the flavour seep inside the biryani gravy. The biryani gravy is already set. Now we have two, three more process. One is to fry the potatoes and the second is the cooking of rice. Add coconut oil. 
I've marinated three potatoes with little bit of chili powder, turmeric and salt. Let's fry them now. It's almost done. Now I'm going to switch off and take it off from the flame. Now let's cook the rice. Um, I've taken four to five cups of water. Let it boil and then we are going to add in the spices and the rice. The water has started boiling. I'm going to add a teaspoon of ghee. Let's add the whole spices now. I'm adding a bay leaf, two cinnamon sticks, cardamom, cloves and peppercorns. Add salt. Make sure the water is salty when you taste it. Time to add our soaked basmati rice. I've soaked it for half an hour. Let us stir. Gonna squeeze in half a lime. I'm actually going to throw this lemon itself into the water. So you have to cook the rice roughly about 8 to 10 minutes but make sure that you keep stirring it and you have to cook the rice roughly around 90% I have drained the rice now I am getting back to the egg biryani masala uh, it's dried up a little bit so I am going to add a little bit of water time to add the fried potatoes star ingredient the fried egg add the rice the rice is nice and fluffy now I'm going to layer this we have added the rice now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of garam masala for some nice aroma and the saffron milk if you don't have saffron milk it's all right you can just add uh, milk and turmeric and get that lovely yellow color Sprinkle some coriander leaves and mint leaves together. Let's add some ghee, melted ghee. Now let's add the fried onions. I've set the biryani now. Let's heat up the tawa. Once the tawa is hot, we'll keep the rice on top of the tawa and keep it on down. Now the tawa is really hot. I'm going to keep the pan here and cover this with a clean cloth and close the lid. Let's keep the biryani on dam for 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes now. I'm going to switch off the flame and let it sit in this steam for another 10 minutes or so and then we open. Moment of truth. Try the biryani now. The flavors are very nice. Mm, I feel that I should add a little more salt to this biryani. It's perfect otherwise. And there you have it, folks. Our delicious egg biryani is ready to be devoured. You might think the process is quite lengthy, but when you start making this, it's actually very easy. Please try this egg biryani and let me know in the coming section. And do give a thumbs up if you like this video. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye. This egg biryani. Mm -hmm.